Welcome to the Tombs of Miasher. I did this shit 24 hours. Tombs of Amascus, or TOA, is located in the pyramid behind me, south of the Agility Pyramid, southeast of Sofen. To get in requires Beneath Cursed Sands quest, which is a master tier quest that requires approximately 30 minutes to complete, contains three boss fights through interesting desert landscape. TOA is a raid requiring all three forms of the combat triangle. Melee, where the Unmuth, Remuth, Unmuth, Remuth, where a must with Azmuthin's Fang being the best in slot. Magic, with Tumakin's Shadow being the best in slot. And Range, where the Twisted Bow is the best in slot. In the raid, there are five bosses. Kefri, a dung beetle you use melee on while dodging Vorkath fireballs, rows of dungs, and swarms of beetles. Zabak, a crocodile who pukes random projectiles at you, and if that's not enough, he screams and sends tidal waves through your ways as well. Baba is an undead baboon that'll claw, throw multiple rocks at you, and shake the ground around you. Akka, a warrior that dances around his arena, forcing you to use all three styles of combat. And with a final phase, a splooge of white orbs covers his whole arena. Lastly, we have the raid boss, the Warden. There's three phases to the ward. The obelisk phase, where you choose which warden you actually want to fight by standing and blocking orb. The second phase, when you fight the warden, dodging various traps and blocking incoming attacks until you stagger the boss and get to strike its core. And the final phase has two parts. Part one, you dance back and forth across the room, dodging shaking tiles and hitting skulls. And part two, the final fight, you monkey steer through lightning, prayer flicks, all while the room gets smaller and smaller until the warden is finally defeated and you get greeted into the throne room. Before each of the four sub bosses, there's a puzzle room you will require to complete before actually getting to fight them. First, there's Kefri's light puzzle, completing small little puzzles before proceeding. The box, you water a tree. Aka, you play with some mirrors to get the perfect selfie. And last, you spend six hours at the zoo running away from escape baboons trying to eat your face. But before you even enter the raid to do these puzzles or fight these bosses, you get to choose the difficulty, the mechanic called invocations. You can set it to zero, which is something you can do in decent gear and base 70 stats, to 600 for an insane high level gamer with max stats and max gear. The great thing about the invocation mechanic is if you suck at Dying one of these bosses, crime. but excel at another, you can design yes! it to fit your skill set, increasing your loot potential. During my 24 hour, I run 150 to 200, as my current gear setup does not contain a shadow or a twisted bow. And as being a 45 defense account, I have no access to crystal armor. And since I was doing all these solo, the quantity of completions were more important to me than the quality of completions. I started the 24 hour with my log looking like this, sitting at 16 KC and having having seen one purple. I got a ward at 10 KC, just a random one and dunner. My loot tab at the start was sitting at 8.4 mil. Let's take a look at some reward. As you can see, unfortunately, I didn't get any purples. However, I did get two new collection log slots, cash runes, and the red gem of corruption. Overall, I ended with 35 KC and 14.7 mil loot tab. So in 24 hours, I managed to scrape by 6.3 mil. The next 24 hour will be Corporeal Beast, Friday, April 21st, over on my Twitch channel. Leave a comment down below for which boss you'd like to see me do in May.